the time consuming. Yes. Yeah. But when you're asking them, if they're saying, and if they're saying, if they're saying the not, or if they're saying what is IR, or if they're saying something in particular, you make note of that. What I'm asking is that. Are we, are we covering our costs? In, in We're absolutely covering. All we have to do is get two yeah. weddings to cover our costs of the app, all our advertising. Okay, so because we spent uh, $8,548. I understand. I'm just wondering, did we recoup that and cover everything that's Yes. I mean, our revenue last year for rent is over $30,000. And I'm talking about weddings. Honestly, we're getting lots of events, and they aren't all weddings, and they are all coming from, which is wonderful, but they're not all coming from. But when people Google event venues, the knot and the wedding wire come up on top. We're getting memorials, we're getting parties. That's where they're finding us. You think memorials are coming out of wedding I, I think anybody that gets onto the web and Googles event venues in Longmont, the first two things that pop, pop up are wedding wire and the knot, and they're absolutely being used. We're also getting reviews for all of those things in Wedding Wire and on the Knot because every time somebody comes in and does an event, I send them a review request. So I have, if you go look at the reviews, there's several reviews for, for memorials in there. And they and that helps us build our credibility. That also helps us build, it's it's just a, it's a vehicle. And it isn't just getting us weddings, it's getting us all kinds of events. I guess the big thing is this. So there is a way to track that by by looking at the reviews alone, correct? Um, you could. It, I I tried for a couple of years, but quite honestly, it's it's relatively difficult to actually track a, an actual lead back to the original source of the lead, and it, it became a waste of time. So, are you suggesting we don't use the webinar? No, I just want to make sure. That I am saying, I, my whole point is that I just want to make sure we cover the cost. That's it. And I didn't realize that wedding probably had to do with two companies. That's, I, I appreciate the clarification. Well, every year, with a couple of exceptions, we've made money. We're, we're covering the cost. It's, we, we wouldn't be spending the money if we couldn't cover the money. Because that. It's just yeah. a matter of. I, I understand. It's a it's a marketing. It's a good marketing practice, but it's a marketing practice that I spent a lot of time trying to do, and it was fruitless. So, honestly, the the reality is, we need to drive leads. The more leads we get, the more inquiries we get, the more business we get, and our inquiries are way up over where they were when I came here and we didn't do any advertising. When I came, we, we didn't have an advertising budget. We didn't spend a dollar on advertising. The first year I was here that I did the budget, or that I worked with Karen Roney on the budget, we put $1,000 in marketing. Wow. Well, I'm just, I'm going to explain the, the, the chronology. We spent $1,000. We, we, all I could do with that was print advertising. We got nothing, absolutely nothing. Nobody saw it, nobody called. So we quit doing print advertising and we went to the wedding line. Then our leads picked up astronomically. I don't think that we're closing as many leads off the knot as we are off wedding wire, but that's because the demographics for the knot is different than the demographics for wedding wire. I, I guess my 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 confusion of it is is I was looking at at it in, in the sense of if we are not getting as much from the knot, then we'll strong enough. But if it's one yeah, it's one and the same. Yeah, it's it's one the same. same. yeah. then it, 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 it makes sense. So it was just a question in in the sense of this. Does it make sense to be holding up to something? I have no idea that wedding pro was one. Well, and we drive we drive demand. So the more times we pop up on somebody Google's but I get that venues in Lama, the more times we pop up, the more times people can see reviews. The more, and honestly, we're on the first page on every review that I can see, in. not just with um, Wedding Wire and the Knot, but also with the City Mama website. So we we could probably go back and do something about the keywords a little bit, but every time we mess with them, it kind of resets the the um, the the algorithm that pops us to the top. So it's better not to do that. Yeah. We don't want to mess with them. Yeah. Yeah. From the job. Yeah. Yeah. The job. Cool. Just a general question. Well, I understand. And I, 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 I agree. You know how we, we all can't personally not finish the subscriptions. Absolutely. And just, just thinking since 
focus of sales that we can and the income and where we need the house to support that house. Yeah. I was just thinking, how are we doing that? That's where you want us. Yeah, I look at it every year. I mean, every year it goes up a little bit, uh, and we also get a nonprofit price. Uh, so, and we get discounted because we're long term customers. So, I mean, the really good news is we've, had, we've got some continuity. We've got, I think I was on yesterday, 42 reviews in Wedding Wire because we've been on Wedding Wire a lot longer than we've been on the Knot. And we've been on the Knot, um, we've only been on the Knot for two or three years because when they were separate, it was like double, you know. And um, I think we're up to almost 20 reviews on the Knot. Um, they're a little harder to get because their their process to get into the review process is more difficult. So a lot of times people will balk. They'll get partway through it and balk right. and say this is too hard and I didn't do it. Uh, but, but on MoneyWire it just pops up a screen and they put in their ratings and off to the races. And a lot of people won't bother to do that. I'm having <laughs> I'm having very good um, results this year. I've taken a different approach with reviews. Uh, when the event is over, um, I said thank you and um, and tell them how much I enjoyed the event and what I found to be interesting or cool or you know and um, and then I asked for a review and I'm getting I'm getting That's really great. good results even That's even with memorials um, people have been doing reviews for me so we have to get um, I think this year it's ten reviews on each site to get our ratings. Uh, which gives us those little badges that we can put in the email and on the website and all that thing. So cool. Well, I think we're going to have to do that when we plan to put them in their website. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Some yeah. Part. yeah. 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 And well, and if you, I, I'm sending them the links to both sites and asking if they'll do a review on each one. And I think there people are doing it. It's, it's amazing. I actually had the father of the bride do two reviews. Wow. That's impressive. So, Right. Yeah. 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 Oh. Isn't, that, well, yeah. Isn't that interesting? He actually did most of the planning too. Wow. So, and we had a room, we just had a wedding where we just had a wedding where the groom did almost all the planning. So that was a beer party. <laughs> it was interesting, but it wasn't a beer party. It was actually um they were both Nigerian. So we had people in native dress. Yeah. It was cool. It was cool. Very cool. Yeah. So I have a question, it's more of an update that I'm hoping to see more of on your report. So for example, the ceiling, with the toilet, the clean water leak that happened last uh, April, April 21. That was August. Okay. So um, what's the status on it? Because we, we talked about it a couple of different times in a couple of different meetings mm -hmm. since. What's happening? I'm not seeing any kind of update in your report. That's because I haven't done anything. Um, we've been pretty down dirty with the RFP and that's been taking all my extra time. Plus we've been working every weekend since the beginning of May. So um, it's on my list. It will get done. The grant has been, no, not really. The grant has been taking precedence. So. Since we're scheduling events, and coming up with all this People, people yeah. don't notice yeah. it. It's bothering you, but yeah. people don't notice it. Way more, way more. Yeah. But, but not in the quarters. coming up again, uh, I'm looking at that going, are people going to think that we are, are just allowing things to go out and I don't want that? And so I'm wondering, what can we do to help you to move along on this? I, I'm going to get it taken care of. One of us can call Kimberly. And call. Yeah, I'll get it taken care of. Can you do an update on that? Sure. So we can keep that. Just keep a pulse on it. It's not going away. Yeah, it's it's not just had to take the back seat. Right. Yeah. Manage report. I'll manage the report just because questions of um, on your report and just the things that I thought, you know, I'm not seeing these and won't ask. Um, so we, we are, we have about seven clubs using the house right now. And um, I know you previously. Mine was that you weren't going to um, renew or they weren't coming back. And that was um, one of the, um, uh, it was one of the bridge clubs. I know it was the um, Stitching Club. Stitching Club. Yeah. Yes. Callahan House Ladies mm -hmm. Society. Mm -hmm. Oh, we love that name. I know. And so, and you did 
attention to me and look on the list. Clubs that you need to, to fill those slots. I wondered if you have a list. We don't, we don't have any clubs waiting. The one club that was waiting um, wanted an all day event, an all day club meeting, and I told them that wasn't possible. So we don't, we don't have anybody waiting. We're not actively recruiting. We are responding to all inquiries for clubs to meet here. Well, I've got something to add to the, um, the agenda for, for future business if you can. Um, and that will be credit fair. Um, because I think it would be wonderful to um, bring credit fair back. Uh, the first one was in 2011, the second one was 2012, and then we then the year after. This is a great opportunity to bring in clubs through the entire community to the house. Who may want to use the house, who may not want to use the house, but it's community outreach that we're, we're, we're covering um, two bases at a time. Um, we're reaching out to the community, providing a uh, place to come and, and show off, you know, whatever about their club, have a table. Um, I think you, if you were here in 12, you, 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 would, have, you would have been um, I did. in the middle of the 12. Both the 11 and 12, well, they were February, Saturday mornings. So it seemed like February. No, uh -huh. well, February. So it seemed like a good time. It wasn't going to um, bother with any growing um, events, but and it worked really well. And the photos and you know, from the, the scrapbooks and, and the list of, of clubs that came, excellent. So I think we need to bring that back in. So if we can put that on future business and consider um, that for multiple reasons. One of which would be potentially finding another club or two to come into the house. What I'm looking for for the future is future grant applications. I want to provide as many different uh, varying clubs that are doing different services, you know, either as a social club or they're doing service for the community. Because that looks wonderful too. Okay. It's really important that we incorporate those. So you want to put that on future agenda yes. items? When would you like to? Are you just should we just discuss we should, that in August or we should September? In August because if we're going to do it in February, which I think is the time, um, we might want to go ahead and get into that. Okay. Okay. Club in there, and we'll discuss it. Um, discuss it in August. August of the August board. So, so you had mentioned that reporting the city was doing a website accessibility audit. Um, just in the quality of that website, and you are you are in that case. What happened there? And, and you later stated that um, the first step of that like, website accessibility audit um, was completed. What happened is the website director, the website manager retired, and it's come to a screeching halt. That position hasn't been. Replaced. So at the moment, there are no activities related to that. So nothing gets updated on that site. Is that what no, no, no. We, it's just it, using that has to do with ADA accessibility. Oh, ADA. ADA accessibility. So we we went through all the pages and audited certain things like readability. Remember the conversation we had about the most common read, you know, reading level for people is around fifth or sixth grade. Yeah. Right, which um, is we looked at. Impressive. We were looking for things like flashing. Um, lights, we were looking for um, spelling mistakes, broken links. Um, we've, we've done the entire first step of the audit, and at the moment, that audit is suspended until until they replace the person that retired. So it's something they can get back to, or is it? it that doesn't, it, it's being driven by ATS. Okay. So I have, I have done everything that I've been asked to do, and at the moment, nothing is happening. Right. Okay, cool. So, I was just curious if that was something when it was about usability, because you probably answered the question earlier. It didn't have to do with um, any other average um, uh, you know, citizen of um, user friendliness. Of I mean, that, that's part of it. That, I mean, that's part of it. But the, um, the, rea the reality is that many corporations and governances are being um, sued um, for people with reading problems or who are deaf or who have epilepsy or and so there's been a lot of um, 
reveal and nuisance suits against um, cities and corporations because of the lack of accessibility of their information on websites. So as a caution and as a to try and get ahead of that, the city is doing an audit of our websites. And I think actually, um, didn't Power and Light get sued? Um, LPC got sued. I'm not sure. I, I, I think know, that's, I know Denver did. That's what I was told. LPC got sued. And I don't, I don't know what the resolution is or anything. But um, it was to try and get ahead of that and make sure that we're making the site successful. Unfortunately, um, in many cases, um, not necessarily with the city of Longmont, but in many cases, um, people are actually pulling content off their websites um, as opposed to making it accessible because the, the, the task is gargantuan, yes. especially when you have a website that is as big as the city of Longmont's website. So the, the response to that, especially in small corporations and small businesses, has been to take information away as opposed to making it accessible. So it, it's a very interesting um, dilemma, yeah. um, which is ending up in the courts, and um, we're just trying to be proactive. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was just a question I was curious about because I thought, well, does that have to do with user friendliness, and is that something that maybe we can help with? And I'll get to that point when we talk about QR code, but but when when the general public is looking through and the user friendliness of our website, which is so if we get to that point, if we you know the big girl is the ADA accessibility, but if we get to the point where um, we we want to take a look, well, our, is the, is our website are our, our website pages? Um, <coughs> the way we want them to be, can we can the board be included in that? Helps to have several sets of eyes on. Well, let's see. When you click here, what happens? When you click here, you know, maybe somebody will have some bright ideas. A lot, a lot of just so you know, a lot of the format and design of the website is predetermined. Uh, we, we don't have a lot of flexibility. Like, it's, it's, you know. it's how the city. Well, it's templates. All, every page is a template. Uh, that's fine. I'm just yeah. not talking about that. I'm talking about the template. I understand. Okay. All right, so okay, that's okay. What is MPI International? I've seen that in, in the juice and subscriptions. Uh, meetings professional meeting. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a professional group that I belong to. I, I was speaking to that and I was curious. I'm like, oh, that's in the Thank you. Okay. What, what, can, it's meetings professional international meeting. Uh, what, what does that mean? Just out of it's, it's a group that meets and um, talks about strategies and policies of doing meetings, effective meetings. Um, also, another just update thing. So the wood that the wood floor in the you know we did the self by the invited and self guided tour test, and the wood floor in the northwest corner of the auto house is damaged. What's happened? Is that another one of the missing? I think it's been there the entire time I've been here. I have no idea. Okay, can, well, can we um, put that to off of you know, our list of stuff for future restoration? Preservation? Usually there's a plant on it with a big saucer. The plant's inside the house. <laughs> we haven't used it much, so we haven't used the auto house much, so yeah. the plants do better if there were a cat that can see them. Right. Is so, it water though? Yes, yeah. I, I have no idea what happened. It's, it's been there for, for 11 years, more than 11 years. Um, and then I was wondering, I read the um, minutes, and why are we receiving substitutions in our final orders? Shouldn't we de decline substitutions or we, implicitly we state no substitutions? Parks orders the plants, parks pays for the plants. I tried to um, head off the substitutions. They did not. They did not. Okay for substitutions. Absolutely. I but think but just they can't order from. I can't get them. Guys, we don't own that. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm we don't own that unless we want to pay for it. And the order this year was almost three grand. Mm -hmm. But I thought you were talking. This was with respect to the, the sign. We ordered them through the order with the rest of the annuals to try and get parts to pay for it. Yeah. Um, I was hoping that that wouldn't happen. And the reason is because I offered to pay for the plants and show my sign, and that's what I was going to do. And that's why I asked you to bring a planting bed back to the meeting, which you didn't do. So I couldn't go and actually purchase the right plants. I would have preferred to have done that. And I like 
Oh, yeah. it's clean. I like I it. I love it. It's clean. I, I like the little mini monsters. I think that they do belong in there. Good. Yeah, that'll make a nice order if you can have a good amount. Mm -hmm. And so if somebody can tell me, give me a list. What do you really want? Give me a list. I need to know quantities and I need to know size. I will get them. You know, I can have you just some order around it because it's limited. I like it. It's distinguished. And then annuals can just go, you know, slap a bunch in there. But they'll get some stuff. That I talked to Anna about the hospice and she thinks they should be on the inside, not the outside. I'm going to argue because we want them as order. I agree. I think I think the white board band. She wants them as like a permanent green thing, but we want color on the inside. But it's but it's also a consideration of a maintenance issue. Um, and getting that so so that they don't end up in the mower's way. Uh, they won't they're just not for that. They're just not for that. The high school is knows well enough. All right. Let's go with the answer. But please. Could, could we move, move that into the business part of the meeting? Let's do. But do we have to leave it to you? Is your list quantity sizes? It might be late in the year, you know, because in the spring is when they get a lot of those like, plants, and it might be too late. Bring a check. Let me get a I, You know me, I get this done. Well, and we still have a water problem out there, too. So, okay. I, and I don't think we're going to fix that without spending money on irrigation. So. Well, they do have those wonderful watering holes. You can fill it, and then you stick them in the you know, with, and they kind of just suck water. So, They're pretty, too. Yeah. But, and we can settle these. So they, they won't be taken like the like the lights that I purchased for the, the sign that yeah. they were taken. So, but yeah, what? So these are things that can be done. Well, I purchased uh, uh, some solar lights for the sun for the sign you know, to be placed around. The sign. Somebody stole them. For them, uh, somebody stole them. Yeah, of course. Well, they were pretty exposed, having nothing there to cover them. So, I guess they something we can yeah. do. And I want to. Like, I really do want to. I, I'm sorry, I'm never. I promised I'm not. Okay. It's like right. It's disgusting, but it's um. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so do you have any other questions for? Um. Can I bring up something real quick? At the last meeting, um, we decided that this meeting we would try to get through the agenda quickly so we could go to the roles and responsibilities right. and finish it off. Right. And everything you're bringing up is important. But we could put it off to another meeting because we did have a plan to, to get through this. And if way it's going now, we're not going to run it. Well, yeah. some of the things that I have to, to bring up don't, I can't wait until the next meeting. And so um, I have to say, when I, when I saw that too in the minutes, I, I realized this is, all right, no organization, no company, and no club have I ever seen a retreat lumped into. Right. Well, because we decided not we can't to do that. that. It's not no. what we planned from the beginning. And even when we said we may not get through it, we'll have to schedule another date. Yes. If that's the case, we'll do it. But we made it a half day instead of a full day. And now we're trying to push it into our regular meetings. There's no time for that in every meeting. There is. Wait a minute, break off. Meeting. What, what what is the meeting? Yes, the Let's get through the business that we do need to do. And then when we can get to the treat stuff, then we can. But then we'll take it's not, the, so the idea was to keep this meeting compact. And, I mean, we've got important things here, but they're taking a lot of time, and they're not what we, you know, they're, it's like it's going to take up all the time. Yes. And some of these put that off to the end. Some of these can be. Okay, that's okay. no, so all I want to say. I just want to Thank say you. I appreciate it. Um, and I'll, she I'll wasn't here for that. So yeah, we just want to move along. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll avoid the ones that can be held at the next meeting, but I think that you address the ones that we can't get to next meeting. Um, okay. So, the. Oh, can you get clarity on when the board packets are supposed to be delivered to the website? I'm just. I'm trying to do them by end of day Friday. By end of day, is um, it by five on Friday, or is that that's like five or six? They, this one got posted on Saturday because I was working with them, and the um, agenda didn't come back in time for me to get it on. To, I was I worked through this. So my day on Friday was from three p.m. to eleven p.m. So I I just didn't get to it. Okay. It got posted Saturday night. I'm trying to do them by end of day on Friday. Okay, and that's what like you if you can do by by end of day Friday, great. I feel like a lab rock, you know that? Like, 
need it because the need to read is not there. So I have been doing. I was. I did an experiment this time to see if people would actually just go to the agenda management portal and look. And of course, man. Okay, brochure updates. Yes, I have updates. So, um, the room by room has been I read in the minutes that Kathy, in the Washington Journal, Kathy tried to explain a little bit about what Eric's, um, Eric Mason's um, feedback was. Uh, Actually, Connie did. You know, because I watched the video. So, anyway, here's what happened. Eric explained in, in part what she said before it was true. That the he said those were prisons were back too long, uh, too too much detail for the average person. Um, but he also said instead for a house like this, typically and normally docents are in each room to speak to the the details in the room. Most people are interested, or just point out specific things that are, are nice highlights, um, or um, in the alternative, he said you could have scheduled tours, or you should just have group tours where, as they come in, a group of ten, and uh, one of your um, board members takes a group of ten and begins the tour of the house with that group and finishes them out and goes back to start. You know, and so mm -hmm. they have that process. So he gave those uh, examples of how tours of a historic home are typically done, um, rather than just uh, providing a self guided tour, just letting your friends. Go and provide a place for the book, or so a lot of people leave out. So I said, okay. So if we shorten, um, we have basically a one-page um, tour, which explains a little bit about the properties, explains the history of the, the Italians and the house, and then how it came to the cities. Um, and then on the other side, show the door plans, and so that people can see where they are at any point. And then specifically just so you know, oh yeah, this is um, original to the house. Oh, this was started in the kitchen. If I gave everyone something like that, and then either have a docent in each room, or have one take a group and go through and have details, is that better? He said, absolutely. He said, what do you think about having a book available for people who want to purchase it with those details? So, some people, because Mike, um, Rick, and Sam from the sort of preservation division were very interested in the details. There are some people who are really excited about the details, and others who are. But those who are, can buy a little book that you can make in print, and it will pay for itself and provide some revenue, some funding. And he said, that's a great idea. This is my only suggestion on that, then, is make it easy for people to purchase. So he said, if you've got cash on hand, great. He said, but for people 
people who don't have cash in hand, how are they going to pay for it? I said, well, QR code for that, so that's not what I'm saying for. So anyway, there was that conversation that occurred that did not get reported when I went into the auction that day. So that said, I need to have for you this discussion that we're going to have. Well, this is too bad for you, this is not cash. Because we've got to have a problem in the house of our yeah. I want to give everyone two things. One, well, here, take one and pass them on. That is the single page that you can hand to people. And so everyone can have one of those to take with them. And it's out. And you can look at while they're here and take one with them. So, and the second item is the Levi Room for Thursdays. That's the only thing all of us would have. So all guests would have this single page. One from that page. Easy peasy, right? And then all the guests, all of us, would have this detail page. And we would have it in our hot little hands during open house events. And so that at any time, any one of us can be asked about any room. <coughs> and we can send a question. We can look it right into our, our little book here and go, yeah, let me tell you about that. Karen, I hate to interrupt, but I'm curious on your What do you think? I probably like the idea that we do it like in Rolleston, where we're in each room and then we talk about the house, ask a question, and be the docents. But what do you think about Eric's suggestion of having one person start at the door and then look around and, and be the next person and take the next group? What are your thoughts? Do we I keep it the way we think it would work? I think. Oh, okay. okay. I just don't think the flow would work very well. Uh, yeah, because we don't, we have a, a, it's a random flow. You know, we might have a group of five or six come in and one person. Um, the idea of people going on their own and having a docent in the room is a good idea, but the idea of us taking groups around, I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, so I think it's too random. Mm -hmm. our, okay. our population. Now, if we had to schedule two or less, yes, yeah, so far, but sometimes it's you're okay with having a docent in each room. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we kind of, uh, not as formal as this, but we kind of have that. Yeah, well, I like the idea of yeah. if one asks a question, I can look something. Yeah, that's good. Right. Yeah. And this here one is the thing. Yeah. Because sometimes I've asked, I've been asked a question on my I have no Oh, I guarantee you, there will be a question asked that's not on here. <laughs> yeah, and that's the wonderful thing. And that's why that's I told you to ask me. Please, you please write it down. Yeah. yeah. Because it's really good. Yeah. Well, thank you for this, Karen. This is a lot of work. Thank you. This is, this is a lot of work, and I appreciate it. Yeah. And I think that this will come in handy, if I can speak, for 2027. Yes. yes. So, so if great. everyone nice would, thank you. So if everyone would please hang on to your docent's copy. That way we're not um, putting the house to paper on. I just copy them. I copy them. So I wanted everyone to have your own copy. Please take yeah. care of it and bring it and use it when you need it. Do you have a copy for Connie? Yes, I do. Uh, I make copies for all of us. So, yes. So, basically, um, yeah. This is the only thing we have for them. Just use for copy. Easy. Just take it for the, I know you don't have anything that says um, copy or here, but the rec center. I mean, the rec center. I don't print it outside the people. Can you fine. just take it and go print it? I mean, copy it? Could you just, just send me the file, please? So that I can print it? What I would like is if everyone to look through this and see if there's anything else they would change. The only reason briefly is because obviously everything on the front is about what happens in the house and how it came to be. So there's that. On the back, these are those cool fans that, that, that and, and I did this in um, order that Rich Cody um, suggested and in the flow. So starting with going to the cargo then to the music room, then to the library, and then all that. So if people will do that, <coughs> it will keep a really nice kind of one-way flow. Let's see. Let's test it out. I'd like to see how it works. It won't be this working. But, but basically, if people are going from one room to the next, it will make this nice flow around the main floor, and then upstairs, nice flow around here. So it um, so, so there good can, traffic flow. So we can help guide people. The next you know, what I would suggest on this switch your page numbers because the people come in walking through, you want them to follow, so they're not going to read this first. And I mean, 
do this and they can read this information. I know we had talked about that, and I, I, I thought about that too. And here's the reason why I, I didn't. I, I actually do want people to um, understand more about the problem. So I can do it and be the person at the front door, but I'm going to bring this up to them at the front door and say, please take a moment to read through this information about the problem. And then that's kind of come in. And the reason is because another part of what Eric was specifically um, um, adamant about was saying, he said, people need to understand the connection with people. And he, he said, I think it would be important to pay attention to the people involved here. So the Comcoms, yes, um, in, uh, who, who they're connected with, Jason Kennedy, who do they have as employees? Well, that's not that clear. You guys can see that on your post and say, because he went and looked at the census for um, 1900 and 1910. Mm -hmm. And he found that Kate Vernon was a porter and a keeper, which was personally employed by their families. And Valdez Jones was a servant. Imagine she did that work. That was in 1900. 1910 census, Anna Lund was a servant. And she did housework. And so you can see um, there's a little connection with people there also. Um, the, 19, the 1890s census burned, so we don't have any records from that time. Um, and I'm going to look into the 1930 census because they were still there at that time. But those were the only four census um, records that were done with all the sweet pies here at the time. Obviously, they also have shown burn, but we have not come across the show at this point. So we'll keep that open and keep looking. But anyway, it's just something to be aware of. And I agree with him that connecting people with people is really why White House is here is because of the people. I just have a little thing. If we have 25 people that go through here, how, what's the number of people that really, really want this deep, deep information? And they just the people that we've been yeah. around. They're, I mean, look, they ask their few questions. Mm -hmm. There might be one or two go, what kind of woods is this? Yeah, yeah, that's that's nobody that. wants all that. They could take it home. Right? Yeah, they'll yeah. take it home and read. That's that's right. Right. But I mean, if you if you talk to them before they come to the door, they're going to oh, it's one of these. You know, they want to come in I, and see the house. It's a historic. I disagree. I think you give them the information that they need. Yeah, they want too much. So. Well, you have a book, like I said, what we got is a suggestion. Yeah. It's a matter of we I'll meet them at the door, like three them, and say, obviously, this is theirs to take. And I will tell them that, but I'll say, you know, the problem's from this side. It would help you understand a little bit about the kind of house and why it's here in the middle of the future. So take a moment, just ask them on the porch, and you do this. Some will go, okay, and that's uh, the right, majority will go. And that's fine. I would be going. That's fine. Mm -hmm. but, oh, but others might go, all right, I'm going to sit out here on the porch. Lovely, anyway. I'm going to do this and go, okay. Now so, I'm prepared to come in and do this at home. I, I just don't think we should dummy it down. I, because you, People assume that people are stupid and they're not. Oh, or not yeah. 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 not in the interest in that. It's a different level of people. Yeah. And if they're not interested, just because we should care about all of this. Still, yeah. it's not about people stupid. That's a basic case. No, that was not. That's important. Even if they're not, at least it's a little. Yeah, right. It's one page. We've shortened it to our lot. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to put aside on how much work. It doesn't show up. Yeah. The focus is um, I think we're trying to um, we're trying to reach our community and, and our public and share this information. It is part of what is required in one of the goals of the state preservation system set up. So and that's education. This is that piece. And this okay. proves this to the grant component that we've done. This component something that we can use as a future exhibit to show, yep, this is what we have done to share education about history with the public. It's important. Okay. All right. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Please Still bring these with you on um, on the 27th because, um, yeah, put your name on it, bring it with you, let your name tag. Because that's yours and you can bring it to the And then we're going to see how it goes. Uh, in, in the next meeting, like to um, include that as feedback um, regarding tour docs. So we do that for August, add that to the agenda for August meeting, feedback from the open house. Um, hey, did you share with the commission uh, that we would 
Brian, she brought her the um, information about the open house. I know that in, in the minutes I see that you were not expecting much traffic, but I don't know why. I, I mean, it's I posted, no, I didn't share with Brian. Would you please? Because I think if he knew and you share it with the Historic Preservation Commission, all of those historically minded people will, will they'll probably come, but they'll also share it with other historically minded people. I think we're trying to again reach out to our community. This is public outreach that we're trying for. So we don't want to come halfway. So let's, let's, let's give it everything we can. Okay. Right. So, so when you say it's posted, um, Kathy, where exactly is it posted? It's posted on the website. And we will advertise it in um, Constant Contact and on Facebook. Yeah. It's a week, week before and a week of. Can we just do Constant Contact for tomorrow? Because no, it's too late. It's, and it's too, in our experience, it's too early. Two weeks before anything? Yeah, you do it the week of. The week of. The week before. So it'll be it'll be in after it'll be in our first thing for a year. Oh, that works. Yeah, I'm like, oh, sorry. If you're the week before is the time to do that. That's what we that's what we see. Okay, so moving on. So we're at the house manager's picture. No, but I stick it quiet. I apologize. We're progress. What are you doing, Y'all just didn't know that about me. So. All right, so with that, again, part of our promise in the grant and going forward is um, promoting why historic preservation restoration is important. So, if you to the next one, this is the handout I'd like to provide to our guests, as well as the one page handout of the tour, um, that will explain to them a little bit about why it's important that um, we paid such close attention to uh, restoration and preservation of historic property. And you know, why, why it's necessary. And then what has been happening you know, over the past, you know, in 1893, 95, 98, we worked in collaboration with Mr. Colorado to do these restoration preservation space and um, projects. Shows the amounts. Gives people an understanding on, on dollars because it, it tells them you know, how much is kind of cost to to um, maintain a certain um, property, which is important because it, it speaks to the donations at the bottom where we're saying, hey, donations to the Capitol must be under by a component uh, in the bladder of efforts to restore the surface, to make the surface. So please consider making a donation. Donations of any amount, critical support, and convenient access to information about the house. Or and to donate the same code. So, and there you go. You can put up your phone, you can scan the code, and you can click that on, and you can donate, and you can see these numbers, and you can go, well, you know, I was going to just donate $5, but maybe I'll go ahead and donate 20 But I don't think this should be said locally. They can read it and see that, but I don't want to be starting to ask for donations here. I understand that we were vocally going to say, okay, you can donate. At least I'm reading this to you all because you're not going to chew out of this either. But of course, we're not going to be saying you need to go. No. If, if anyone asks, you can say yes. Please. Oh, sure. We have right on the website. But I'm just trying to say this is what could be, again, handed to them, and they still have it, and they can read it. But this is another way of promoting that um, community buy in because that is part of what the grant requires. Is how has your community supported your restoration and preservation? So my question yeah. is, are we going to hand this to everybody yeah. here, or are we going to have it available? We're going to hand this to everyone because, like the house information about the, the why the house here is here and available to people, well, it wouldn't be here available to people if we didn't you know, restore it and preserve it. So it's sure. really equally important. So yes, this is something that goes with every house tour page. All right, thank you for your words. That is tremendous. And again, it really helps like, us cover and spread the brand. That's the way it should be. It's so, this, this runs deep and wide, folks. It definitely provides um, a, a, 
that the report to show up and applications. And it definitely reflects that outreach and the enemy task that we could be doing, we should be doing. But quiet. And so it's not a that's not a new case kind of pitch, but it is definitely like what's important about this sort of lines. That's why the why is in your question on me. We know that she's going to Okay, moving forward, I'll move the house managers mm -hmm. to be extending the two files. Yes. House managers' pictures. Okay, I have um, done a look at the hanging snow. We have a real ability for, we have a hanger system, technically what they call a hanger, um, upstairs on that wall where we can just put books into the wood. I, I had, from looking at that, I think it's going to do too much damage by putting books in and moving them constantly to add the house pictures. So basically what I did is I looked into getting a hanging system for that wall. I need to measure that wall to make sure it's accurate in the sense that um, to start off for hanging, it's going to run some, anywhere from uh, from two hundred and thirty nine dollars to two hundred and seventy three dollars for a, a aluminum hanging system that can be um, painted to blend into the wall, and that includes um, the tr that's the track, and then um, it includes the um, cable lengths of um, six point five to nine point eight feet with with relative weight hang system and that that's the thing that we have to consider in the hanging is which is how much weight each cord's gonna have in, in that. I think we can go for the better one for the long haul because this allows us more flexibility. It also gives us ten hangers and ten hooks with the, the ability to purchase more if needed. Um lower the prices I'm sorry. Um, yeah. The, 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 depending on the length of the wall, I believe we're going to be in the 239 range, but I didn't have an access to, to measure that wall. And you say we're going to be in the 6.5 or 9.8 feet? That's the length, the cable, oh. the cable length, okay? I didn't get the, the, the width of the wall um, stacking is 13.5. Um, the low end is a 13 um, foot wall. Could, could you type up the note and send the details with the prices and the links yeah, and all that? Because really really otherwise, we're going to get a module in the next. Sure. Yeah, we sure yeah. are. Yeah, also, uh, you said for Tim, uh, if this is going to be an ongoing thing for the next couple of years, because um, you may not be able to buy the same thing for two years from now. How many do you have now? How many house managers, including yourself? I, I don't know. Three. Three. Mm -hmm. So I assume, I assume we're going to staff. And put more than one. Also, I just say if you're buy it, buy a hit, buy more than what you need. I I, I understand, but these are the common tra tracking systems. These are what they use in art galleries. This is this is, yeah. actually, this, this is what they use in the art galleries. So, so it's always available. It is available, okay. and right. and that is that is. I mean, I was not just. We could use tape or hanging tapes, which are clear, but they're not as they just. Yeah. They're just not. Yeah, I just want you to so That's great that you buy it. But I was just saying buy it in because that way you'll have what you need. Because for, for our starting system, I thought this is. It will good. be available 50 years from now. Yes. Or, you know, I don't know. I'm going to take like right. We're going to be here. We're going to be here. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, but I believe with 10 on that wall because it's relatively small. It's not a big wall. Yeah, it's not a big wall. You know, I think we're going to have. Plenty of, of, of that. We might need one. Could not be tired. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So, the but, but I think I think in the long haul, this is. And I also did. I went and I checked with um, down to the framing store and talked to Dave down there, and he's had a catch bit between the occasion, but but um, I showed him what I was looking at because they don't use them in, in um, the great frame up simply because of the walls and whatever else. But I did check in with um, other, um, again, this is the museum style hang wall system. We're gonna do a good job. It's not gonna, it's not gonna um, hurt, 
the house in any way. And the biggest thing is I don't want to do any damage to that board paint or frame system. We've just got too many pictures that we might be manipulating and, and uh, I, I like the ability that we can work it with the board too. So um, that was the thought on that and that's what I thought so far. We haven't been able to find more pictures, but I am still in hopes to try and bring that couple up in Estes like that. So the other towns in regards to that. And okay. And then um, just to side note, wouldn't it be cool if we could find a picture of the show room too? Yeah. That was the thing about that. It's a black and white picture that's from across the street that shows uh, Tom's at the gate, Alice is at the collar with the chauffeur. I mean, that's like, the that's, that's, that's all. The forces we got, but we don't need yeah. our beautiful yeah. pictures of servants. But it would have been. Uh, and, that, and that is just one picture. There are a lot of pictures of himself. Yeah, that's what they Oh, and he was at the time. So you can tell us the number of pictures you grabbed. So house photos and the actual photos of it we have we still need we have okay, answer your question. We need most pictures, we still need most pictures. Okay. We have photos for everyone except the very first one she we don't have our obituary. So so Mark Kendall, Gail Phillips, Sylvia Ortega, and Kim Mansell, Paul Ian Thurmer, and Roland Reed. I think that's, that's the one you got to get for us. Can you just yeah. tell us how many were missing? Just to put in minutes. Right. Instead six, of names. Said that you yeah. Yeah. So six. We got seven. Oh, we have their dates of service. And um, we can either have them on pictures or not. Well. If we can't, we will come up with some solution about how we can. Acknowledge their name and dates of service, and even potentially, you know, give the scrapbooks specifically. It's something that they would like to have. Anyway, just to show. Because I'm just going to sit there. We can just have a list, you know, of which pictures we can see. That's a possibility. And this also enables us to put up what we had talked about. The board members of their service and then just do it for them. Yeah, we have yes. 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 um, But it, since I'm, I in, what I saw in the video is Andy you didn't want us having a separate meeting for um, this for, for the board of business or have committee meeting outside of the board meetings. So, so um, we will be talking more about. Which one are you on right now? Yeah, where are we? The house scrapbooks? Yeah. Um, well, no, the house manager. House manager photo project. That's a side thing because that's a project. Yeah, that's a project. Yeah, that's a project. So we're not going to be doing that project side thing. Yeah, that's a 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 side thing. Yeah, you can arrange it at the board meetings. Yeah, okay. You're just not going to do the actual work. Actual work. Because work. Work. That's, that's the message that was opposite on the video. I'm like, I think we were talking specifically about the rest of the retreat. Right. Yeah, that's what we were talking about. That was to me. It was very to me. Um, so that's what we thought we were talking about. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, okay to still do committee meetings. Yes. Yeah. Outside of the board's closure. Then um, maybe what we should do is schedule a time that we're going to meet between now and the next. Um, for the house manager. The house manager for the project. I think this time we need to forward. Okay. What what time would you like to meet? Two more. I'm not on that committee. Oh yeah. Not I don't. Am I? Yeah. Yeah. You were in our list. Oh. <laughs> no, you took my Yeah, you took my uh, No. No, I took a scrapbook home. Yeah, no. I was on a scrapbook. Janet? I was like, well, but which took home was the scrapbook looking for oh. Diane's. You couldn't come at the end. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 And Janet took one also. But anyway. So, so Janet and Anne, who's there for you? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Never wins. Karen Cruz, Janet, Dan, and Maureen. Yeah. Do we want to meet on a Thursday then? Because that way it doesn't impede on anybody's weekends. I could just this morning, okay? Yeah. Like, yeah. 10 o'clock? Yeah. Just for, well, where is this meeting at? Well, we can come to my house because it's open at any time. We can go to the library. We can go to the library. It's or open central. from nine. It starts at nine. Oh, they're open at nine. So I do have to say, Karen's is nice, and she supplies us with things. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know what that means. She's She's kind of longer things. than possible. I just thought, you know, we should be able to do something for the hour or so. Uh, so for the 10 to 11 at the library. We meet from 10 to 11 at the library. On Thursday. So. Oh, what what's the best date you've got available? Yeah. Oh, that's wrong for everyone. Yeah. I just took <laughs> my picture. I just took my picture. <laughs> I'm meaning to. This is what you get with a new camera. Yes. A new camera phone. No. Sorry. The, so the 14th? We're looking at the 14th? Yeah. Is it tomorrow? Yeah. It's like 11 months later. Wow. I can actually do it tomorrow only yeah. simply because my questers meetings isn't taking place. But normally I can't do that on that day. But like um, do it. can you do it, Anne? I think so. I mean my calendar I'll check with my husband to make sure, but I can come do it. Yeah. But it just for the hour, right? What are we actually gonna do going for? We're going to talk about framing and figuring out what we want to do. Um, I'll, I'll show you guys the hanging okay. system and we'll talk about it. Um, Kathy, do you have a tape measure for chance? Only about 10. I just want to quickly get a quick um, That's fine. measure. Okay. Well, we need to, um, and we need to measure the coat rack because the coat rack is there in the winter. So that whole wall is not available. There's nowhere else to put it. Yeah. No. The closet is our only storage space. It's our only. It, 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 and it won't fit. We couldn't get the door open if it was in the closet. So I'll, I'll measure, but I don't think we can get the, and that's where we put the desk when we store it. I, I don't think it'll fit in the closet. I would perhaps put it in the living room. I think for the time being, though, we measure the whole wall as if we're going to do one side of the wall, and then we'll make a decision which one we need to measure. So maybe, okay. But let's, if you're going to put the system in, it makes sense to, to put the system in the whole wall. And always move the wires depending on where you need to go. So let's just measure the whole wall as if we're going to do a large wall. And then we, that's the great thing about the hanging system. Show the, the, the wires as if we're going to adjust it. Yeah, well, that's nice. That's cool. cool. So if we could just get the measurement if I don't take my picture of the wall. I'm going to get a picture of the picture. It will be a stun when I'm like, what? Yes, yeah, those <laughs> accidental, accidental pictures. Are the, they are the best. Yeah. So, all right. So we are we are set to meet on that. And Kathy, are you going to send one out, or or do we just put them in our individual calendars? I think you should just put them in your individual calendars. All right. Um, moving forward, we are on to the scrapbooks, and that's Connie. And I spoke with Connie um, by a text here, or it was in his email, I apologize. Um, and I've got a report from her, a basic one. It's not, um, Okay, so there's a couple of little things, and, and, and I had a couple of questions for Connie, 
in, in regards to um, it's convoluted because things are mixed. Um, Okay. All right. So, in regards to the scrapbooks, and she, we talked about the scrapbooks. And we've also talked about doing a, a, a camera stand and to doing and picturing the, the, the scrapbooks and then putting it up into the cloud. So she's been looking into that, um, and. What she said is that um, she has nothing to right now in regards to report new for the scrapbooks. Um, but if anybody has any newspaper clippings or correspondence, please let her know. Um, same goes with um, uh, pictures or anything like that. Um, and she's she's um, said that um, she contacted Adams 12 and they no longer have the one that she used. So um, she's been trying she's going to contact um, St. Free Valley and see if they have a copy stain and we'll go from that point. If not, I think we're back to the same point of having to go down to Denver to use the book scan, unfortunately, which then um, So what do they cost? I, have I don't think that it's something that we would purchase, and the reason why is that even Eric Mason doesn't, doesn't have that. They arranged to use the equipment uh, of their own home unit. So um, maybe, uh, maybe I could have them just say, please. Uh, well, I'm going to see Eric Mason soon, and then because I'm going back to archives anyhow. Maybe I can just ask him um, to give us uh, the information where we, uh, we can use that. Or, and actually, the archives groups that to an archivist. So let me ask him to, if the archivist groups would share with us who, who they use or for what equipment they use. What they use. Where they will borrow what. And so Let's see if we can get a volunteer to help us with that. That would be great. Yeah. Um, hey, Kathy, we got a, a one new camera for the house last year. We took a couple of um, classes on that. Is that camera usable for We can make it available. Um, we can make it available, yes. So maybe if we could just find the stand, then we could use your camera, and then we could go from there. I'm, I'm just trying to find out what, what our resources are, so yeah. Let me check with Eric and see if we can find. I love getting the image of this SVBSD, though. I think she'll find um, some success there. So sh she's working on it. I mean, I don't, I don't know what we need, but there's a camera stand on Amazon for 100 bucks. It's kind of like four quarter type thing. It's not one that's like a tripod. Yeah, it's different. You set it and then you have to turn it over and use the lighting. That, um, well, the lighting is sold separately. So, I mean, pe people, people do that all the time. You can, you can buy a like a white thing and shoot the camera, buy a camera and the camera. There's, I mean, people take pictures of their products all the time. So I suspect for not very much money, we could get the pieces we need well, instead of trying to borrow them. I'd rather not purchase something that we don't know you need to do. But maybe if you answer the question, can we hire someone to do it? And that, that would be very expensive. Well, I think we go through it. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, well, call, my, it's call, my, call Mike's camera and ask them how much they would charge per page to take pictures. Yeah. And I think you're going to find out it's fairly expensive, but they're probably the place to, to have that done. Eight. And they would at least have a, they would, they would have a price that would give you an idea what that would cost. And we're, and I, I also think they would contact the archivers group because they're going to know what we really need. Mm -hmm. And maybe we could have a volunteer that comes in. I'm not against considering that we are going to have to upkeep this because we have to submit each page <coughs> going moving forward as well, so we can post it um, in the cloud for safety reasons. Again, I am terrified if we have a fire or anything like that where that is everything. And I, I just really think it's important when we have it someplace really, really safe, like up in the cloud. And it gives it everybody public access to. That's, that's important. So, 
So I'll I'll ask Connie on on Connie. Do you have um, if you're going to be talking to um, Eric, can you get their their numbers and contact information for the archives? Yeah, I can just give you that. Okay. But what I was also going to say is to ask Connie if she wouldn't mind um, reaching out to um, my sister to see if they'll give her a price on if they have the ability to do that, and if they do, what they what they would charge you know per page or set up or whatever. Okay. And then also put it out there. I have the to Google, you know. Um, that is Yeah. Good to but if you want to check those two, that would be helpful. So she can check S3 and C, which I think is in a Google, or, you know, a individual company, whatever. Does that have work? Okay, those are three leads, and I'll check them out. Okay, thank you. All right, so that's the, what we've got on scrapbooks. Now moving on to open house. Oh, kind of big up on top of that is um, all the tables of contents in the scrapbooks. So, oh, great. Thank um, you. I know that Janet worked on one and Anne worked on one, so thank you for your work on those books. You're the best, so well, you it's so, huge. So we are, it's, it's That's a lot of work, guys. Does she need hours, hours for our society? Have a seat. Me too. Me too. So, but, anyway. Okay. On to open houses, and, and this was one of the things that I was following through and I'm going to be cruising. Connie also emailed me in regards to um, about Pioneer's Day plans for the fall at Old Mill Park. Um, they're going to have a couple of cabins open this summer, but I don't know about any specific things. So that's all I've got in regards to the Pioneer Day. The Pioneer days. Um, we we're hoping that we could, you know, take that. We did try to collaborate with them, and um, we pretty much got told that it was their deal. We talked about uh, doing tours here the day that they were doing um, school tours there, and uh, the official word that we got from them that was that it was it was their deal. And um, I think we can reach out again, but the like, the last time we tried to do that. Um, COVID intervened. Well, that was a couple of years ago. COVID intervened, and they didn't happen. But the the word we received from the St. Brain Valley or the St. Brain Circle Society is that that was their deal, and that they did not want to dilute it with other content. Um, you know, I volunteered with my hearings too. So um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, I can tell you though, it is a logistical. Yes, and I, yes, yes, and uh, all the kids, except for the ones from really close schools, they walk in, but the rest are bused in, and the timing has to be just right, and then to bus them up here again. It's, it's a lot of logistics. Um, the kids probably could walk in Mobile up to here. When we talked about them, small, uh, some percentage of them doing lunch here, and I'm kind of walking through the house. And um, I, I don't know if it was the lease or board. Um, they, they didn't like that idea. Yeah, so we really could probably hard. try to circle back and see if that's a possibility. But um, at that point in time, they, they weren't interested. I think it's we're not every week. Um, it starts at like, 10 in the morning or something. Yeah, yeah. You get a bus load and they go through. You get, and they leave and another bus load comes in. Yeah. So not all, just the last ones would have lunch. But some of them are, you know, you get 100 kids going through at a time. So there's only yeah. 20 going through. Um, we could possibly do it, but it would be. Yeah, we could, we could reach, I think we should reach out again, but I, we, we didn't okay, make I'm success the last I'm just saying it's a big thing. Oh, yeah. I don't know what to do in, yeah, okay. Of course, in the first the camp, was very long, the dating was all, I remember doing that as a kid. Oh, and, and it was a big, yeah. And it is a big deal. Oh, it's yeah. Yeah. And the kids love it. Yeah. But one thing is, both meal, they're outside. Mm -hmm. They're running around, yeah. they're having fun. I mean, they go into the little cabins, and, and you're up dressed in, and, you know, and you're talking about right. And um, here we have a lot more delegates. Uh, I mean, we could have them outside in the gardens as well. They're actually whatever. Yeah. You're sure. Third graders. Yeah, third graders. 
a little different. Yes. Yes. Um, yes. Yes. A lot of a little. Aren't they always school children there? Because I remember when Shirley, my cousin, invited Lauren and I, because Lauren was here visiting when she was five six or seven. Oh, yeah. and, and, and no, they were having some kind of function, but it wasn't school. I thought they had a yeah, This is one big class. This is one big class. Yeah. If you could outreach, you could uh, uh, you you to out at least see if it's any of because I think it would be great. But that's another thing. It's not one day, it's a whole week. That's yeah. a yeah. It's a week. It's a lot of kids. And this is hundreds. This is okay. It's community outreach specifically to you. But we do already have other commitments like clubs, which may or may not prevent us from doing things. This gal that does office work and also students for the state of Colorado. And she would work with us on various things if we ever chose like to watch that. Just say it. Okay. So, so they would, what would that be for? If we wanted to do a dress something for their artwork or for, for anything that we wanted to choose to do in the house. And, and, yes. and, and I, I just love it. it. I say it would sort of be. Really cool. Wait, wait, wait. Did they actually use the costume? Is it she costume? said there's a possibility, or she could also then set up the students and then they talk about what they wore and what things oh, she could yeah. like to work with. She's really a nice lady, and I have her contact. Oh, she can contact you probably have more than one of my favorite slides. This is set me up. How did you talk? Anyway, so that's just a side note to make Anne's day. To make Anne's day. Yeah, we, we could dress up. So anyway. Um, next subject. Next. Moving right along. Moving yes. right along. I, I, I know who's not happy about it. Maybe if we could get your hat and paint, though. Oh, well, I have a part pink hat. Yes, I look great. Yeah, let that one Okay. Okay. Moving on to the July open house. Um, for the 27th. I'm feeling really good with the guides and um, everybody's going to be here and to be the docents and, and be like that. Um, if you don't want to choose what room you want to be in, I think that might be helpful so that that way you don't have to go through and read the entire length of the book that I gave you all. I know you love it, but I mean, do you want to focus on this one room or do you actually want to go through the whole thing and choose a room you can get there? Choose a room and look at them. Okay. All right. Speak through it and be prepared. Any conflicts, it's going to be resolved by arm wrestling. So right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No good in order. Okay. I gotta practice and get my muscles. Yeah. All, All right. right. Okay. And so we're going to be arriving um, at 5 30. We're arriving at 5 15. Yeah, 5 15 is fine. I'm going to just put your purchase up and decide where you're going. Everything else will be ready. The lights will be on, but water out. Okay, so ready? Is the 27th. 27th. The 27th. The 27th. Mm-hmm. Moving right around the corner there. Sure. It is going fast, oh, guys. Okay, wait, still on that, actually. Yeah. Um, so we, uh, uh, last, well, this has to do with Art Walk, but it's just any open house has it for that fact. Last Art Walk, we had some 20, um, 21. Somebody asked about some pictures of the house and if we had any available for sale. And we were going to check into, you said we have some, we were going to check into what they were and what quantities. So can we do that before, if not, it'd be great if we could do it before the 27th, if not, then definitely before the end I'll put out a set and decide a price. And then, okay, and can we do the same with the books? Because we did do a count on the books. Yeah, we've got the Scanthon books available. We have 101 small stuff down and 8 large down. And the cost is 15 and 20 respectively. And so um, we all agreed in our um, February meeting that we were going to do more of those. Just I guess the big issue, so we're not taking money. Um, I know, I wish um, Mary Ellen was here. Um, can we, I'm sure we can get that set up with the QR codes where they can just pay for the item. QR codes are already set up. So all they would have to do is get on their phone 
go to the web, scan the website, or scan the QR code, go to the website, and make a donation. And the donation would be the book? Yes. Or the picture price, or whatever. Okay. Yeah. It's still on COVID constantly. I don't expect that to be too big of an issue. Okay, cool. Yeah. And I didn't, I didn't know if we had it, we we're going to set it up different where it was going to be a specific no. price. No, we're not going to set it up different. No, they'll go ahead and do a donation for X. And right. Okay. And that's much easier. And if we change the price, they can still do it the same way. Right. Okay. And so, still on um, um, open houses, this has to do with all of them. I want to ask you real quick um, because I've been going to print the photos um, and have them available for display. Um, because again, this was a great idea of yours to have the photo of the swingies. Oh, yeah, by the fireplace. By the fireplace. The actual mm -hmm. fireplace. Yeah, well, that's cool. I think this is just a paper, you know, yeah. one sided frame. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I was, yeah, I would, I was, I have another idea. We'll get to that. But, um, what size? <laughs> I know I scared you. I'm going to say, I've got an idea. I'm like, oh my God. I'm going to say, what do you think? <laughs> You're gonna love it after you realize it. Yeah, you like, start from the nose. Okay, all right. So, what size are we thinking we need of this? I mean, in like a, a ten or you know larger? Yeah. Because I wouldn't go too much bigger. Eight by ten. Yeah, ten works. Yeah. Okay, I was gonna say this is not quite eight by ten. Not quite. Um, yeah. but and then the photo quality will be better. But it's you know it's kind of hard to. That's like, great. Yeah, the little ones. You want the detail. Yes. You want to see it. And you don't want our guests that would be doing like this. But that might need to be like Some of them might do it anyways. Yeah. 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 This, yeah. Is yeah. this is just I will. Yeah. Yeah. This, this is not the line, right? Yeah. 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 So. Yeah. But yes, a photo quality print will be a better print and, and, and easier to see. Um, but yeah, we just want it large enough so that we don't have a guest coming in and getting like getting get nose prints on Get nose prints on it. Yeah. Yeah. Prints on it. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so, yeah. so it's the house. Absolutely. Yes. On Along with this one. Could, because of the key. Oh, yeah. Could, yeah. Could, yeah. Could, yeah. could we put Those one of the tiles in with that? And so that's my see. idea. I want to. And this is going to take some. All right. It's going to take a little time. A little money. I'll cover the money part. But the point is if we can include this photo with one. Of the two tiles that are in the bookcase in the shadow box, professionally put together. Nice. For this stuff. I know, put it out there for open houses and stuff. That's but, fine. But other times we'll put it away so it's safe. That's fine. What do you think of that? I think that's a great idea. I think if it's really well done, yes. you might be able to. Sure, that's that's well, just like we all love Alice's picture there. That's interesting. I don't, I don't want any of it, so. Oh, Especially not down here. here. No, it won't be something coming. It actually will be something set on an easel on that front there, and that desk in the, in the um, next door to the fireplace. Yes. It's yeah. Except yeah. for our walk when they have art all over it. We'll right. put it somewhere right. else. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Or we may shift the art walk a little bit and have staff and artists somewhere other than on that desk. I, so. I, this was your suggestion, Anne, and I think it's brilliant because the okay. people. Yeah. Yeah, I like the idea. So, so, like, so I like so, old pictures of the place. Shadow box is a good idea. See, that was not harmful, was it? That didn't hurt. Okay. Because it incorporates the, the wonderful idea you had with some um, a, a, a physical um, example of the tiles and so people can actually see it. Okay, so and then this is why because people have no idea what a cubicle um, what it looks like. And having this is it's a very helpful. special thing about the front room. So, so who's going to do it? Well, that would be me, I guess. Unless anyone else wants to volunteer to tell. Oh, crickets. <laughs> Shocker. Okay. Well, can, can we get the tile then before you leave? So you've got it. Yeah, I'd like to take that one too so that I can do a little bit on that. Okay. Um, then, um, so that had. Oh, open houses. Oh, oh. Still in open houses. Yeah. Art walk. Art walk. That, that's it. Okay, art walks moving along well. Um, been talking to several artists. There's um, the 
paper dress lady will be upstairs. Uh, I've got two artists committed so far. Um, one in Kelly Buckley's. She does like a watercolor. She'll be here. I have a photographer, uh, Andy Mastis, who's been here before. He does beautiful work. I've got one who's still, she's not sure, so I've got a question mark by her. So I want to open a completely open slot, which I'm not worried about filling. You know, I've got a lot of names I can call. I'm still, you know, I'll, I'll listen if you have a friend or, a, you know, somebody you know, but, you know, I'll definitely talk to them. What's the, what's the name of the paper dress lady? Her name is... I have a feeler out to another guy that's been here before, and um, crickets, crickets, crickets. So we'll we'll see. Yeah, okay. We've got some time. I, I do think the live music feels right. Oh, I love that. It makes it nice for us. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't, mean. right? People reach out to people about their thing. They go, "No, he's got this all there." Well, you know, he made it really clear to me that he didn't want to do this, but I. What was his oh, name? And I talked to him. Are you talking about the one that does his like, books? Yeah. yeah. He was like, I had. He moved. Oh, he moved, he moved, but not far. Yeah. He moved from his house to his grandma. Yeah. I talked to him. Yeah. Just a little bit. Yeah. I still had his business card, but he was pretty. Uh, I mean, he was very polite, but he was just like, this is not. Well, we've yeah. asked him several times, yeah. and he said that every time. Well, the one when I talked to him, he said, well, it just needs to be kind of working on a while. And I was like, okay, that makes sense. So if you have something that you can work on and um, generate a lot of revenue, that you're going to want to do that. And I said, yeah. And I said, okay. But if you don't have something going on in your schedule already, and you're available, you consider it. I said, yeah. So but that was my conversation with him. So um, you want to keep it right So you know, the worst comes to worst, he says no. Of course, there's words he's just always doing something. It's right now that the guy's all saying this is the last one. Okay. Uh, uh, I prefer uh, these books. These are all books. Yeah. They're beautiful. They're, They're very nice. In fact, I bought them. Mm -hmm. But it's a whole different. Yeah. Yeah, it's art. Art. I, th I think that would be amazing. So we've got the, the paper dresses, then we've got the watercolors. It's but just not. Well, it's a huge deal. I said, I've definitely contacted him in the past. But I'm I persistent. Yeah, I don't mind being a thorn. Well, oh! <laughs> oh well, oh, there's no reason to prank anyone. <laughs> <laughs> if he doesn't return your calls, let me know. I don't prank at him. Right, right she will. will. <laughs> I'm pleasant. Leave him and alone. And and persistent. And persistent. But I think he's done. So, oh, okay. Nice. All right. All right. So, our walk, and then we need to, actually we're under open houses. One of the things under open houses, we needed to talk about the Santa open house. And the reason why we're talking about the Santa open house is from what we were given by Mary Ellen about our advertising. Um, and that's why we need to discuss that. Um, Who is Mary Sue Ellen? Ellen? I am sorry, Sue Ellen. Uh, and Sue yes. Ellen actually is a I know Mary Ellen. Ellen. And, you know what this is? I just didn't know who that was. This applies to our walk in Santa, the fall for sure. Um, the deadlines for um, it's done. getting that print um, to tomorrow is like one of the soft deadlines um, to uh, get that done. It's pretty much done. It, are we in? Yes. For, for Santa, Santa Open House? Yes. Awesome. That's what we're 
that's what the request was. So, so, so if we're only doing reservations, that's what's. It also says reservations required on the sent out. Oh, yes. I couldn't remember if we, we We have not changed it to single person reservations yet, but that will be in process in the fall. And I, and I do apologize about the miss. That's okay. I just, it's like, we went, it's like, it felt like we went on a tangent. Sue Allen. Sue Allen. Yeah, I apologize. Yes. And that will be in this So, aside from the fall recreation reserve, how else is it going to be advertised? Both, both our Facebook and constant contact. Is it in constant contact really only? No, it'll be it'll be when we open the reservations in November, right. and it will fill up in two days, just like it did last year, and then we won't advertise it anymore. So we would need to have it on constant contact starting. When it'll be on constant contact when we open the reservations just so be in, November. in November, and we haven't set a date yet. Or when we're going to open the reservations. Yeah. Can it also be included in the city one? You know, the, the insert of the one month um, utilities. Bill? Those are done three months in advance, so the oh, chances it's going to get in that. For one month in advance, I mean, three months. Well, my question is why? Um, for why it's for, for example, why? Because it's full. Um, we know it's full. We filled it up last year. Yeah, it's going to fill up it just like that. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's the over advertising. Yeah. I yeah. It's going to be possible awesome because if nothing more. It, it just it tickles it into people's mind to be looking for it. And even if it's filled by that time when it comes, then they'll look at it and go, oh, well, sure I, I, I got to put that on my calendar. I just think it, I think it, it overcommits and, and under delivers and it disappoints I, people. I, I agree. I mean, if, we're, if we were having trouble filling all the It's that marketing thing. It's just it's looking mm -hmm. out there and seeing what might come of it. And not to try to advertise things. Trying to be better thoughtful, yeah, that we need to get more people to. So that's what we put or try to put our resources, things that are going to be full. We put less resources for that, more space. If that makes sense. We try to maximize your marketing dollars towards places where it needs to go. Well, and City Line is always full. Yeah. yeah. It's always a little bit too or three line for that. We compete with the entire if city. It, if that's the story of our wall, I'm sure we can see that. It's fine. We can do that. It's one more community outreach. Whether or not we've already potentially filled it, but. If you want to do it, you can do it. It's worth doing. Well, but here's the other thing City Line is not our advertisement, and we don't get to. We don't get We don't get to put stuff in. Yeah, but we don't get the final say of what yeah. goes in there. Yeah. We compete with everybody else in the city. For that space, so I'll put we it may or may not be chosen if we have space. Yeah, I'm telling you right now, yeah, that's good. I just I see no reason why we would hold off on the public about housing We just don't, we also don't want to disappoint. I understand. We'll have disappointment regardless because people will be disappointed once you know, I agree. You know, the is open and you know, like an hour goes by and they're all full. So, yeah, we're not disappointed anyway, but the idea is to just communicate with other people. Well, then, we've been looking at the school as a lot of the nurse to make possibility to consider a long period for not just one day or two days before something like that. So, it's depending on how long that is. That's the problem. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's one of the things that we should consider. If we're filling up so quickly, we should consider it, that we might have to do it. Look at it's made more than one because it's a great event for the house and and certainly maybe right. yeah. so i look at it that way yay it's great to be popular if that if we're popular and we need to serve more ice cream then let's do it <laughs> you know that's just kind of a thing we might end up doing two days not just one and we'll see how we're talking which are we talking about Santa Oma It's very popular. I mean, fine. It, it, it might be one that we have yeah, more than once. Not this but, year. But so it's I a mean, possibility to think about. It's another way to continue to open house to you. 
Okay, um, I, I think uh, moving right on to the past and present work of the law right now, Karen. Yeah, so I have on this, and I'm going to some service. I wanted to ask you all, um, if you, you have a partner with how I miss them. I can miss them by early years, to a more current years, I can miss them just by the alphabetical order. Yeah, it's I, I, I did too, exactly. It's the chronological I would put the current ones on the top. Um, I don't know how to do that. Here's why. Um, chronological order means um, we're going to start with the earliest and come to the most current. <laughs> I think the most important ones at this moment are the ones that are serving today. So I think it should be in the first order. I think you should start with the current ones. That's what that's what people are going to recognize. That's yeah, true. That's what about. And and we're constantly trying to recruit for new board members. I want them to see who's serving today, so that they can find you and speak to you, as opposed to putting you at the bottom. Because not everybody's going to read the whole list. Right, right. It makes sense. Cool. Well, back to 1940. Okay. Um, well, that's, 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 a, that's a good point. Yeah, it yeah. is. It's yeah. a valid point. Yeah, yeah. I would have um, the earliest members on. That's what I would do. I agree. Yeah, I agree with that too. With that rationale, I guess. Yeah. Because I, I think we drum up more interest for our board if they see people they under, they recognize. And they also see who they can talk to. Yeah. 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 I would put them their first day of service. Some people with several terms. I don't know who and, they, and maybe right. just put their oh, yeah. beginning date, their beginning year, and their ending year, and how many Actually, terms. Actually, Mary. Or they're, something like that. Instead of trying to list oh. them all. She would have candy you're going to be listening until you're blue. Yeah. Mary, Jane, 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 Your service and our last year service and how many terms or something like that. Instead of trying to just that's not the right way to do it. And yeah, it's yeah. kind of an important role to show where it, there was a time the city um, did not require a year off in between. Yeah, um, three years. You could be on the board for a year. Number of years of service. Yeah, that's, that's a good idea. idea. Yeah. Yeah. That is years. Years. Yeah. Not just number of the years. Range of the number. Then people will question, well, wait a minute, this is actually X amount of years and we have what number of service. Why is it's that? Hour of this. So let me find a way that we'll properly you know, most people aren't gonna be the yeah, yeah, other the, the thing is, is okay. if there's okay. anybody else here, I question it, but you would get the detail direct. So I'm just gonna I'm I, I just I go. really yeah. think that you're gonna get the detail on spot on. Mm -hmm. Well, we we'll just decide how to do it, and then we just look at it. Yeah, I've got to get. I've got to go. I've got to include it on like eleven. But that's it. It's kind of. I just think maybe okay. We'll wrap it up at six as best we can, guys. We'll, we'll, I forgot. Well, okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. So, thank you. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Moving on to new business. Um. Future yes. restoration preservation projects list. Okay, um, that was one of the big things. I got when you started. I was going to ask everyone what, what, what you see, so I can just add to the list, and then we'll have a compiled list. And to, 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 to me, it was time. the floor in, in the in the um, auto house, and um, the point obviously was one of the things. And I am concerned about this. 
wall, the, 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 the gate, the yes, uh, uh, fence. I talked to oh, I talked to Richard Kirby and um, uh, Suzanne um, from Historic Preservation Commission about that too because his father lived in that um, test for us. Um, they suggest checking with um, well, first off, uh, make sure all of our are willing to do whatever we need to do. We need to remove the tree that I'm um, with. But um, we were going to discuss it next month. Mm-hmm. I'm just trying to move us along. Okay. So we'll so discuss about the items. So, yeah, so, so the going to each other. So the items. So the items. So, items. Items. Oh. Any items? I don't have any items. Any items? Uh, I added Okay. So I think, yeah, we're pointing at that meeting room, um, uh, the wallpaper, oh, everything. At Auto House, yes. And um, so I got those, but then I also have others. So um, I'll bring my list, and if anyone can think of any others, you know who to charge. Bring them, no, no bring them to next oh, month's meeting. Them. That's everyone's charge. Come to next meeting um, prepared with any other items for restoration and preservation that we need to pay attention to. Um, can you sh- Honestly, um, could you share that list with me and then I'll forward it to everybody else on the board so they can look at it? Sure. And so we're not. So you know what? Sure. It's there and what needs to be added. Okay. okay. Um, moving on to item B, the QR code donation. Um, we answered some of my questions already in regards to how we're going to do the, um, the books and whatnot. I was looking at the QR code. And we had discussed with Sue Ellen um, about the placement on the QR code. Going back to looking at the QR code, it's still at the bottom, and I think it's important if we're going to do a donation button, it should be here's my at the bottom. Here's, here's what I found. You have to dig through everything to get to it. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. in the left yeah. navigation bar. Here's what I found. Here, you guys. Or, actually, it's, it depends on which uh, whether you're on mobile. Or on, um, scan it real quick. No, no, no. Oh. This, is, this is what kind of goes together. I'm just scanning the QR code because it gives me. So oh. this is what pulls up. All right, so make a donation online is up top. That's good. But here's what I was had a, had a problem with. Here, here, go to scan it. Oh, you've got to have a years yet. So uh, here's, here's my, here's my phone. Um, it's really tough to make a donation. I went through the process to try to do it, and it is a it's not. It's the only vehicle at the moment that we have. I mean, you have to go. Okay, but you pull up if you do it. You got them? I'll watch you. Okay. So if you if you pull it up, then you you get one. I um I, I don't know that we need to go through all the details. You're saying it's a challenge. That's something we can look at. Okay. okay. Because what it, what it, that's all. That's all. It to be really clear and easy, um, once you click on that and you click on make a donation. You should just be able to go ahead and type in the amount, mm-hmm. put in your credit card. And yes, you should be able to. Um, our system is not as should. Our system is what it is, but that doesn't mean we can't make adjustments to what it can do. So let me look at it. That would be helpful because the user looking at this. Absolutely, I, I agree. With you. That's that's the case in all of our aspects of here. Right. Right. And, and that nobody should. Yeah. It, um, it is what it is, but that doesn't mean we can't keep looking at it and making tweaks and try to make adjustments. Okay. Yeah, it, just, it just needs to be separated. So people have to put their name, their address, email, sign in as if you've got an account or not. It's just too much. That's okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay, um, we have to do an end of the year report to the city council. We have one done in, um, in the past, but we haven't done one in, in 2020, 21, or 22. It's simply because I wasn't aware that we were going to use one. We haven't done one since I've been here. Actually, That's the true. last person who did one was Kanji. Yes, I looked it up. And, and we have Candy did one. one. When? And Candy did one. When? Um, that would be. I believe it was two, 2019, was it? I got the report, I don't have it in front of me. I was going to say, Connie, several years. Who is Connie's chairperson in 2012? 
But there, it's been a, my point is it's been a long time yeah, I think since we've done one. I think we need to go ahead and do it. I think we need to do it. It's really not just thing on anyone's nose, well, often anybody's nose, except for the chairperson who will then go through and recap the year and review and that's fine. I, for what the board has done and then provide that information, that communication to city council. Because it's not it's not a question of um, it's a, it's a report that shows city council and the city community, the entire community, what the board has been actively doing to support and and so, yeah. and help the, the so house. so the bottom line is I I I think we need to have the, the three of us working on it and that should be Connie the historian, Karen you as the secretary mm -hmm. okay so that that unfortunately or fortunately the way the way it looks at I would like to um, set a date um, to work on this, I think preferably after the summer, if we can start at night with September. That is basically where I'm at. But we can start the report in September. So we have it ready and composed, and, mm -hmm. and then we can get it onto city council's agenda with the high school. So, um, at this point, because we are so behind, I think we're going to have to um, table um, the other business. I still have in mind that the, the uh, agenda for the retreat should just be put in a separate meeting. So. But it is now 36 and we can adjourn. I second that. All in favor, I don't see any. Say no. So, 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 so. Mine. All right. <laughs> <laughs>